We take off this week from the aviation sector and the commissioning of the new terminal building at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. President Mamadou Buhari, while inaugurating the new terminal building, said the federal government is committed to developing Nigeria into a regional aviation hub. He added that this determination is unshaken and will be taken to its logical conclusion. Namdi Azikiwe Airport, Abuja. Nation's second busiest airport gets new international terminal. Many Nigerians were recently put in an uncomfortable position with the trending videos and pictures of the Katoka International Airport in Ghana started trending on social media with some Nigerians even going as far as saying Nigeria will never have something comparable. But thankfully, the country has inaugurated the biggest international airport terminal in this part at the Enamdi Azikwe International Airport, Abuja. Minister of State for Aviation, Adi Sirika, said, the terminal is the start of a revamp and upgrading of the sector. The new terminal is considered to be the biggest in West Africa. It covers a space of 56,000 square meters and has the capacity to accommodate 15 million passengers annually. Fully equipped with 72 check-in counters, 5 baggage collection carousels, 28 immigration desks, 16 departures as well as 8 security screening points. Loan of 500 million US dollars with the cut of funding of $100 million from the Debt Management Office. From political and economic perspectives, this airport is very strategic to Nigeria, not only because it is the gateway to the nation's capital, but also because it is the second busiest airport in the country and the fastest growing passenger traffic in West and Central Africa, with an average growth rate of 8% where the world's average is 5.8 percent. The commissioning is a fulfillment of a promise made in October when the Buari administration commissioned the international airport in Port Harcourt, the river state capital. The terminal is one out of the four being built by a $500 million loan facility from China Exim Bank with $100 million counterpart funding from Nigeria. President Muhammad Dubai expressed delight at the progress being made in both the airport and seaport on the implementation of the executive order on the ease of doing business. He therefore challenged government officials manning these gateways at the airport and seaport to sustain the momentum and ensure travelers in and out of the country have the best of experience as a necessary complement to our ultra-modern terminal. To develop Nigeria in regional air transportation hub and thereby assuming its leadership in aviation sub-sector in Africa. <laughs> Let me once again appreciate the efforts of the Federal Ministry of Transportation and Aviation the government of the People's Republic of China and the China Exim Bank for their financial support and the various roles they played leading to the successful completion of this project. Let me also commend the contractor, Mrs. CCECC, -E for delivering this project on time. It is therefore with great pleasure that I commission the new International Terminal Building of Normandy as the Queen International Airport Abuja. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Abuja International Airport offers passengers a choice to decide the mode of transportation to and from the city center because the airport is connected to the rail system. This comes as a major boost for economic activities. It's a reflection of your desire and the very good work done during the last three and a half years of your administration towards ensuring that important infrastructure projects in the country are completed. On behalf of the residents, we thank you very much because this important edifice is going to complement the Abuja Library System, which was opened by you a few months ago and it's going to link up to the Abuja Transportation Master Plan that envisages seamless movement by air into the city, by train, and also connection of roads. You will notice also, Your Excellency, as a complementation to this particular project, the road linking the airport to the 
Umar Era Adwa Expressway is now also being rehabilitated and hopefully within the next few weeks will be done. By the time all this is completed, Abuja as a city is going to truly get the benefit of this infrastructure through easier movement of people, boost to tourism, boost to investment and overall economic activity. Which is in as this has provided passengers and other airport users with a choice and the mode of transport to so and from the city centre from the presidential villa at Abuja, Ayobano Pasha, reporting for 14 years. To be within a relatively short period of time. The commissioning is seen as a major achievement towards meeting the global aviation standards in facilitation, passenger processing and service delivery. The brotherly relationship between China and Nigeria has reached new strategic heights unmatched in history, bringing tangible benefits to our two peoples. To implement the outcomes of the Foucault Beijing Summit promptly and efficiently and jointly advance the Belt and Road Initiative will surely inject a strong and a new impetus to the mutually beneficial China-Nigeria cooperation, which is a pace setter in China-Africa cooperation. Dear friends, China cannot develop itself in isolation from the world, and the world needs China for global prosperity. In his speech delivered at a grand gathering to celebrate the 40th anniversary of China's reform and open up in Beijing the day before yesterday, President Xi underlined China's commitment to opening up wider to the world and promoting joint efforts to build a community with a shared future for mankind.